From San Diego, America's finest city, it's Decisions, Decisions. Now, let's meet tonight's couples. Couple number one is Jody and Richard Davis from San Diego. They've been making decisions together for the past five years. Couple number two is Karen and Mike Kelly from Casa de Oro. They've been making decisions together for the past six years. Tonight, these two couples will compete for the chance to spend 60 seconds in the flying money machine filled with $5,000 in cash. And now, here's your host of Decisions, Decisions, Mark Richards. Thank you. Good evening. Welcome to Decisions, Decisions, where the couple tonight making the right decisions can win themselves unlimited amounts of money from our flying money machine and even a chance to win themselves a brand new car. Right now, let's find out more about the couples. On to tonight's program, let's say hello to the Davises. Hi, Hi there. Hi, Mark. Jody and Richard. Jody, tell us about you. Well, Mark, I've uh, been in San Diego for the last 10 years, and right now I'm a, I'm a car hop. A car hop? Yes. <laughs> At one of those uh, drive-in restaurants? Yeah, it's an old old 50 drive-in restaurant, uh -huh. with, roller skates. With roller skates mm -hmm. and uh, the, the poodle skirts and the whole bit, oh, the, the hair? Oh, the whole bit, the whole bit. Mm -hmm. How did you get into that? Well, I met a man named Richard at one time, and then he just talked me into it, and I've had fun ever well, since. Well, that must be a lot of fun. Nice mm -hmm. to have you with us. How Thank about you, you Richard? Mm -hmm. I managed the restaurant where oh, she you works. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's how you met. You saw her and said, how would you like to work for me as a car hop? Yes. And it's been going on for how long now? Five years. Nice to have you with us, the Davises. Let's meet your opponents on Decisions, Decisions. The Kellys, Karen and Mike. I'm out. And Karen, what do you do? I train seeing eye dogs for the blind, Mark. How long have you been doing that? About eight years, about two years after my mother was declared blind. Oh, how long does it take, average, to, to uh, train a dog? It depends on the temperament of the dog you're working with and also the person that you're working with, but a year to a year and a half is a good average. Okay, how about you, Mike? What do you do? Well, I was born in San Diego too, Mark, and uh, unlike Karen, though, I train horses. What, what kind of horses? Actually, I'm a <laughs> special weather trainer, and we train horses for special weather, like rainy weather and, of course, the mm dry weather at all. Well, that's very interesting. Nice to have the Davises and the Kellys with us, and we're going to re get ready to play round one of Decisions, Decisions right after these words. <laughs> Welcome back to Decisions, Decisions, and we're ready to play round number one with the Kellys and the Davises, and as usual, we're going to start both couples off with $100 in betting money. And in the first round of competition, I'm going to be asking questions to you ladies with a choice of two answers. Of course, one of those answers is the right answer, and it's up to you to come up with what you think is the correct answer. Fellas, if you disagree with your wife, you have 15 seconds to convince her your very best to change her answer. Whatever answer she finally gives is the one we accept. The couple with the most amount of money at the end of this round of competition wins the game and gets to go into the flying money machine and grab at the $5,000 and a chance for a brand new car. Are you ready to play? Yes. Yeah. Okay, we start with the Davises right now. And Jody, your first decision. Tell me how much mm -hmm. you want to bet on the first question. Mark, I'm going to go for $30. For $30. Mm -hmm. According to sleep experts, Jody, uh -huh. can you tell anything at all about your husband's feelings by the way he snores? Yes or no, according to sleep experts. I'm going to say yes. Mm -hmm. Richard, she says she can tell a lot about your snoring. I agree. You're right. right. Certain, uh, <laughs> you see, certain snores reveal unconscious uh, anger and resentment. Does he snore quite often, Jody? A lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, you have $130. Back to the Kellys right now. Your first decision, Karen. $30, Mark. According to McCall's magazine, Richard Burton said that he tried something once, but it didn't work, so he gave it up. What was Richard Burton talking about? Was it homosexuality or celibacy? According to McCall's magazine, Richard Burton tried it one time, he didn't like it, he gave it up. <coughs> Neither one fits. Well, <laughs> believe me, one of them is um, the answer. Homosexuality I, or celibacy? I'm going to say celibacy. I think with Richard Burton, I'd go along with that. Celibacy. So you think it's celibacy? Yeah. No, no. Oh. Yes, yes. Oh, oh yes, yes. Celibacy is the answer. <laughs> mm. All right, you're down to 70, 130 for the Davises. Jody. Yes. Decision time, how oh, much? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, $30 again, Mark. When Johnny Carson mm -hmm. was asked in a recent interview what he wanted his epitaph to be, what was Johnny's answer? Was it, I'll be right back, or here's Johnny? <laughs> oh. On his epitaph. That's what a, does he want it to read? It's a tough one. Um, huh, I think 
I'll be right back. I'll be right back. <laughs> Richard. I think it'd be here's Johnny. Why? <laughs> that's what he that's what he likes. You know, here's Johnny and here he is. Well what but I'll be right back. It's like he never dies. He keeps on living. Don't you think? You're right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll agree with her. Okay, okay. Jody, okay. your answer please. Yeah. Oh, I think it's gonna be I'll be right back. Right you are. Oh! I'll be right back. <laughs> $160 for the Davises, $70 for the Kellys. Your next question, Karen. Another 30, Mark. What did Mr. T do before becoming a movie star? Was Mr. T a bodyguard or was Mr. T a hairdresser? Mr. Mr. T. Mr. T was a bodyguard. Was well, a bodyguard. You agree, right? Right. You're right. He was a bodyguard. <laughs> I wouldn't want to go to him to have my hair done. Would you? No, no way. Of course not. 160 for the Davises, 100 for the Kellys. Back to you, uh, Jody. I'm going to go with 30 again, Mark. In 1899, Dr. Harry Sharp was the very first doctor in America to perform this operation. What was it? A nose job or a vasectomy? Oh. In 1899, here in America, the very first uh, doctor to perform this operation. A nose job or a vasectomy? For some reason, I don't think they had vasectomies back then. <laughs> I'm going to go with a nose job. Nose job. Richard. Uh, yeah, no. I agree. You say... Uh, you sure? Jody? Well, just <laughs> <laughs> Hold it. <laughs> Wait, could it, been a, could it have been a vasectomy? I don't think they had very sharp tools. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe it could have been. No, I'd go a nose job. <laughs> yeah, Jody, I, I, I need your with, answer. I, a, a nose job. You're going with nose job. Yeah. No. Oh. 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 Vasectomy. Of course, the guy died right after the operation. <laughs> yes. and, uh, he was the very first uh, patient back in 1899. You uh, have $130, 100 for the Kellys. Karen? Uh, $40, Mark. According to etiquette uh, expert Lutetia Baldridge, when is the absolutely last possible, possible minute to call off a wedding? The last possible minute. Would it be three days before the wedding or before the preacher says, I now pronounce you man and wife? The very last moment to call off a wedding. According to who? According to uh, etiquette expert, Lutetia Baldridge. <laughs> You've all heard of her. <laughs> oh, nice is nice, but if he hasn't said I do, it's not done yet. <laughs> well, I need your answer. Is it uh, three days before no. or when? Right up to the last minute. Right before they say, pronounce you man and wife. It may not be legal or kosher. All right, but, uh, that's your answer. How about you, Mike? Do you agree or disagree? I would think that you'd have to give them at least three days. But, yeah, I, I'd say you can call it off any time. So, yeah, right before. Yeah, what? Before. Right? Like, yeah. yeah. Your answer is right before they say yeah. I do and yeah. I pronounce you man and wife? Right. Right. You got oh! it. Right before. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I lost... I lost three potential wives that way, right before. <laughs> well, that signal means time is up for round one of a competition on Decisions, Decisions. And let's take a look at the uh, winning uh, couple. It looks like the Davises, you have $130, and the Kellys with $140, and the Kellys, you are the winners, and come on down. You get to go into our flying money machine. Congratulations, Karen. Thank you. Mike. Thank you, Mark. Okay, you know what's going to happen right now, don't you? Yeah. We're going to open up the door, and you're going to spend 30 seconds inside the machine with $5,000 in cash just floating around, and both of you just grab as much as you possibly can. Whatever you grab is yours to keep. You all set? Ready. Ready. Okay, let me open the door for you, and in go Karen and Mike Kelly with $5,000 in cash. Everyone in the audience, you're going to cheer them on, right? Are you all set in there? Okay, let's start the money machine at 30 seconds. Good luck. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna take a break right now and pause for a message or two, and we'll be right back with Decisions, Decisions, and find out how much the Kellys got right after this word. <laughs> 